Hey, what's up, mi gente? It's your girl, Tori, indeed. And I have very special guest, Jovan Brooks from Sketch B Comedy. <laughs> and you already, look at you, you're already getting lit. No, I don't know. <laughs> Do what I think. <laughs> We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about sketch book comedy. We're going to talk about everything. You are a writer, an illustrator, creator. Um, are, do you consider yourself a comedian? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Are As you like naturally I funny? Because like I'm hilarious, but I wouldn't be able to do stand up comedy. So like, are you naturally hilarious or like, are you a comedian comedian where you could just do stand up or both? I think it comes natural. It just kind of happens. But for yeah. the most part, I'm way better <laughs> if I just write it down. But that's you set cool. me up, I say some funny shit. Yeah, I, I could see that. I could definitely see that. You have a very dope vibe to you. And um, I really, really like, I love it. I love the idea of you um, being this creator, being a writer, being able to put comedy into comics. Because, you know, I used to collect comic books when I was a kid. Oh yeah. Um, and I used to go to the comic book store with my brother. So that was just like my, my thing. So now, as an adult, it's just like you're bringing that back to me and adding humor to it. You know, like the smoke sesh, the the mind of a stoner. Um, so we're gonna dive right into it. Um, first and foremost, I know we mentioned you're a writer, you're an illustrator. What did you find yourself doing first? Uh, most definitely drawing, because ironically, <clears throat> although I'm an author, I'm really bad at spelling. <laughs> so like, uh, I really didn't like writing at all because of the, I got more negative critiques when it comes to writing and I got more positive critiques when it comes to drawing. So it was definitely art first. Okay. So when did you realize that, you know, were you a young kid uh, doodling? I know you mentioned you used to doodle. Yeah, I actually remember the exact moment. It was uh, second grade. I got a Pokemon coloring book. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had realized that if you put printer paper on top, it's uh, translucent and you can just draw exactly what you're seeing. And uh, that's what I did for a while. And people were like giving me those compliments. Oh, wow, this looks so good. This is so yeah. great. And then eventually somebody, I think one of my teachers pulled me to the side. I was just like, yeah, this is nice and all. But um. Did you trace this? And I was just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's not much I can do. This is like, I could lie if I want to, but I knew I traced it. And then after that, that's when I realized that I wanted to start making uh, really cool things that people like seeing with their eyes that I didn't trace. Right. Wow, that's dope. And I love stories like that. Like, I remember things when I was young and I interacted with my teachers and they're like, oh, you have rhythm, you have this. Like, when I used to play the piano or right. music class, they'll show us the the recorder, which is like flute, you know? So <laughs> I could definitely yeah. take it back to even art class was one of my favorite classes. We did, like, paper mache. We did a whole bunch of cool things um, that I always found dope. I love all arts and entertainment. Um, so... How did you end up combining both and becoming um, a creator of comics or comic strips? Well, I've always loved comics and uh, I've always wanted to create them, but I really, really started to realize it was something that I wanted to do when I showed my grandfather my regular art. Like for example, behind me, the painting that I did. Oh, I meant to I, ask you about that. Oh, thank you. Thank you for noticing. Uh, but yeah, I uh, told my I grandfather did. and showed him a lot of my art and he told me that this is really good and I like it, but what's happening in these pictures beyond what you're showing me, what happens the day before, the day after, giving the, the characters a story. A story so, and a timeline. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Thanks. So you came up with this brand, Sketchbook Comedy, and what was the story behind you actually choosing the name of your brand the name of your creation well exactly what happened was me and my friend were sitting in uh, my car and we we're smoking marijuana <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about um a lot of just like weird scenarios in life that just happens to you particularly because maybe you smoke and if you didn't smoke maybe you wouldn't be in those particular situations you wouldn't know those people but um 
we were talking about like a random situation where he told me that his uh his friend was cheating on his girlfriend with his <laughs> girlfriend's sister. And what? His sister found out by reading her diary and I was joking with him and I said, well, what the diary say, dear diary? I fucked my girl, my sister's boyfriend. And he's just like, yo, you read it? <laughs> and I'm like, she really just wrote it. So like, no like way. <laughs> so like, and then that moment, I was like, wow, that should be a comedy skit. <laughs> and then, um, you know, there's been a lot of conversations we had over time. It's like, oh, that should be a skit. That should be a skit. And then, um, we kind of came up with the idea together, but then it slowly became my idea in time because I pursued it fully. And, right. Um, you know, it just became about the, the idea sketchbook comedy is because these are all comedy skits in comic book form. So in your uh, sketchbook. <laughs> yeah, and they're in a sketchbook, and skits are referred to as, as sketches. So it's a play on word. It's sketch comedy in comic book form. Sketchbook comedy. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I'm throwing up your Instagram on the screen for those who, um, you know, you may be using it. Right so you guys see that? <laughs> <laughs> so um, also, I see like on your website, which I can pull it up. I can show it to the world <laughs> for sure. So on your website, I'm actually going to pull it up on the screen as well, side by side to you. So welcome hey. to Sketchbook Comedy. This is... um very very dope i see you have like a playlist going on and yeah. are, are you also supporting the um the underground musicians or how are you coming up with these playlists like tell me a little bit about that most definitely what you were looking at is the undercloud playlist that playlist is undercloud i love uh, that thank you're you. so creative okay go ahead <laughs> i try i try <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's a collaboration of uh, a lot of different artists from multiple genres. Um, for example, uh, yesterday I received a submission from a musician named uh, Elise Jones and she submitted her latest single called Sucha. And that's probably like the second or third track on the, on the playlist. I, I also received some songs today from uh, Rojo Beats, which is like a music industry that's coming up. And oh, nice. a song from them called uh, Thrown Out by Divine. And uh, two other songs by someone named Lil Durag. It's pretty good stuff. You can check it out. It's all on nice. the but The ultimate goal of the, the playlist is to give the readers something to listen to while you're reading. It's almost like turning the comic book into a, a mini trailer for you because uh, each comic is only one to maybe three pages. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about your creative process because um, I'm also gonna show, if you don't mind, um, like you have FB High, Blast Off, Aliens High, Sketch Comic Era 1, Sketch Comic Era 2. So you have all these uh, comics on your site and I'm, I wanna, I'm yeah. gonna show you know, so people can have an idea. And it's so, it's so well done. Thank um, you. So what's your creative process? So uh, before I get into that, I just wanted to specify that um, Sketch uh, Comic Era 1 and Sketch Era 2 are essentially like uh, seasons. So mm -hmm. uh, the first one is 15 comics. The next one is 15 comics. And uh, right now we are in the third era. And uh, I think it might be three comics in so far. Um, the creative process itself is uh, pretty much me, because I'm the, the sole creator, uh, coming up with ideas and scenarios that I've experienced or other people have experienced or ones that I know that people think about because we talk about it and uh, as donors. And uh, I take those moments and I amplify them. Wow. So I uh, draw them, I ink them, I uh, do the the writing, and then I do the illustrating. Then I do the web work. I could definitely share some stories with you because, I mean, I personally don't smoke, but I know a lot of people who do, and they have like those burnt moments, and it's just or the the when they get the munchies. I guess it just depends. Everyone is so different, yeah. and it's so comical because they blame it on smoking. Like, man, I smoke too damn much. <laughs> and it's just like so you're. 
your creation, your comics, it just brings me back and I picture them as yeah. in a comic in a comic format, if that makes sense. Yeah, you were that's, able that's to what bring me for. those visions as a comic. <laughs> um, so I really, really, really do I love what's going on here. And I love how it's like, all right, um, era one, era two, those are like seasons. I yeah. feel like volumes, editions, right? And um, I, they're so hilarious. <laughs> so I'm going to show. Um, is there any anyone in particular you want me to bring on the screen and show? Um, uh, you could show either all three or any of the three from the, the current era, of, uh, the FBI or the uh, any of those, because that's connected to something I want to share. Hopefully the person who voted for this is watching. But I did a poll on Twitter and I was curious to know what my viewers wanted to see because, uh, you know, I, I can't really connect with my fans the way I want to all the time. Right. So um, this is not really a comment section on my uh, website unless you go under the, the blogs and you can leave comments there under those conversations. But um, I did a poll on Twitter and I wanted to know if they wanted to see more of a continuation of something I already did. Or maybe they want to see uh, something new, or right. just for kicks. I wrote, "Do you want to see aliens high?" And then that—that's the one that everybody voted <laughs> for. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, those three, uh, in particular, uh, new comics were inspired by the people who voted to want to see aliens high. So, to anyone listening right now who's a fan, just know that I listen to your suggestions and whatever it is. That is awesome. Be, it could pop up any day now. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. So hold on. Let me go back actually. So because you're talking about alien highs or high rather, which is this yes. one, correct? Yeah. Okay. So let's bring it on the screen. I think that's dope that you definitely have, um, you know, a response to your audience and you definitely take, you know, what their suggestion or, or suggesting or voting on. That's super cool. <laughs> and um so I'm reading this to myself and I'm just like okay what would their voices sound like so I know for me what their voices would sound like and um it's just crazy like how you could just put images and illustrate a story of um something hilarious oh my gosh so I definitely um am rooting for you for sure and what you got going on. Thank you. Thank you. So like blast off. Hold on. Actually, let me pull up blast off. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't. <laughs> let me bring this up for you. <laughs> so this one, I just there <laughs> and I love the universe. I love planets. I love all that. And um just picturing like astronauts smoking out of a bong. <laughs> Yeah, I did a little bit of research about that because I was pretty curious. I was just like, what would be the best way to smoke in space? And I mean, apparently there's a lot of things you can't even bring in space. Like you can't bring bread. So if you can't bring bread because uh, I guess the anti-gravity and it could float in the air and get caught in your throat and like choke you out. When oh, you sleep. God. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You so I guess really you can't did a really... lot of research. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so I guess technically you couldn't really bring weed into space, but if you did, it would probably have to be in like a liquid form or I guess just turn the gravity off and then afterwards just make sure it's all gone. Right, right. So what are some things that you want to let our viewers know, our listeners know about sketchbook comedy? Really what I want them to know is that there are uh, like, 30 comics available right now. There are 63 songs available right now. And uh, it's only gonna get bigger. I'm only gonna get more aggressive with the promotional aspect of it. And uh, predominantly, uh, I want my viewers to know that uh, I know that you're reading. And as long as you're reading, I'm gonna keep making them. Uh, I look at the statistics and like not even just in America, but like I want to give a special thank you to the fans that aren't in America, like the people in Germany or. Oh yeah, they'll definitely get a kick Canada. out of this. Yeah, they they already are. Like to to my surprise, um, I look at the statistics and like I see that it's not even just people in in America who are viewing it. So to those people who are viewing outside, thank you too. 
I know. And I love that you're so appreciative and like really showing like, you know, I do appreciate the love and support and the fact that you're actually reading and enjoying the comics. I know for the flyer we used um, Blazing Bum. Yeah. So tell me a little bit behind that. Um, let me see if I can find it on your site. Um, we used that for the flyer to promote, you know, mm -hmm. our live vibe here or whatnot. So tell me a little bit about that. And then there was also another one you sent. Oh, sketchbook, comedy, blazing bum. Oh, okay. So it's two different images. Actually, it's a you have it as a blog post, which is super cool. Hold on. I'm gonna bring it up as well. Oh, yeah. actually, I'm gonna put I it like know. this. I'm gonna put it side by side to you. So then our uh, viewers can see. So the blazing bum, music to smoke to. Also, this is like a playlist or. Um... Nah, that's actually a part of the the vlogs I was mentioning. So I can get oh. some uh, some conversations going with some of my readers. So uh, in particular, that uh, that's talking about the best type of music to listen to while you're smoking because that's like a vibe setting. I mean, music is a vibe setting for anything, but, right? Uh, you know, especially sex, but. In particular, right. <laughs> right now, <it's> <laughs> but uh, you know, people like to put on certain types of music, and I was just making reference in here that you know, currency is my favorite uh, rapper right now, probably for the past five years. And uh, I was just curious to know what other people like to listen right, to. Right, right. Okay, yeah, that's especially a good since you know like they got that under cloud. Vibe. And is there anything in particular that you would suggest? Like, okay. Um, I have a playlist for those who want to vibe out and relax. And then I have those who want to, you know, turn up a little bit and mm -hmm. it also depends what they're smoking, right? Like if they're, um, having something that's more relaxing, yeah. um, it's about your character too. And, uh, you know, what you've been doing with your body, like if you got energy, and, uh, you know, you just want to chill and relax, even though you got energy and maybe do something uh, mental or with your hands. I'd say put on uh, the Undercloud playlist because it's got a, a little bit of everything. It's got like a lot of rap music, but it's also as of late been getting a lot of uh, rock music. And uh, the, uh, the I love it. That... I love all genres of music. So yeah, me too. I'm starting I to definitely... all of a sudden like New Orleans music. I got a song from uh, the person I mentioned earlier, the woman's uh, Elise Jones, or her song Such It. I'm just like, it's not really my style, but like, I caught myself singing it the other day. <laughs> yeah, you definitely will start, like, once you like get submissions, even like, even me, like, I'll get music submissions. I'm like, okay, this is dope. This has a little vibe to it, it has a tune. And um, especially, like, if you're trying to, like, in your creative space, in your creative world, like, I don't know if you smoke and get into a creation, you know, get into a whole vibe and you're, like, sketching and you're drawing and you're creating these comics. Or, like, everybody has their own creative space and their own creative setup, um, whether it's music or um, setting the mood, um, yeah. you know. So, for me, it's just, like, I love all genres of music, but when I get new and different music and it has a mixture of say like okay hip hop but they threw in a little EDM in there or vice versa. Oh, I you know? love that. I love that. I love when they mix genres. Yeah, so it's just like sometimes you hear something new and something different and you didn't even know you liked it and you like it and you enjoy it. Um what I could say about you is yes, you definitely have a mind of a creator being a writer and an illustrator and acknowledging like in the beginning years ago when you were growing up you weren't a great speller but i feel like you've overcome you know not being the, the what do they what do they call it like a spelling bee what do they call it spelling bee champ the, or something like that like the it's the spelling bee champ or something but like what are some yeah. obstacles and um how did you overcome being you know down in your writing or, or, you know, being like, hey, I can't really spell, so I'm going to focus on drawing and, and um, illustrations. But how did you get past that? Uh, Google. Oh, you, just <laughs> <did it. laughs> you just did it, right? <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I guess, uh, I don't want to say I stopped caring, but I guess I rationalize it as, you know, 
you know, a lot of people have trouble with spelling. And what makes me unique uh, is that I have trouble spelling some words, but there are words that I know that other people can't even say. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I'd be like, uh, the other day I said simultaneously. And I'm like, did I say that right? Oh, my gosh. And it was just so weird. I don't know. Well, me, I, you know, English is my second language. But um, mm-hmm. I was just, like, so excited to be to say that. You know, my accent does kick in sometimes. So you're right, you know. And then when I don't, I'm not sure how to spell something, of course, I ask Siri or I use Google or use texting. You know how you text? Yeah. Talking text, I use that. Um, so hey, listen, I I'm not I'm not the best speller myself, but um and the best there are resources that we could all use, even writers. You know, there's sometimes that I go through things that um people submit to us uh for us to review and edit or whatnot, and these are writers and we we correct them as well, you know. Um, but that's like mm. a separate service. Shout out to Ashley S. Wilkerson, she is actually gonna write a written recap of our interview and our vibe here but some of her services include like editing writing outlining books and all that so we we see typos all the time as long as you just put the work out there and do your thing i think you should be fine nobody's perfect and um what you're doing is bringing um i'm sure you you've also featured other artists correct uh no i actually don't do all the art i only feature uh musicians uh multiple musicians but uh, i've d- i've done uh, all the art right so either like even that like you're still bringing other i guess mu- uh, musical artists together and mm-hmm. you know putting a vibe to your images a vibe to their sounds you know it's just like i can stare yeah. at a picture and come up with a whole story and like oh, it brings yeah. me back to when we used to write essays essays in school It'll be a, a picture, and then we have to write, like, this whole essay. Picture. Yeah. And um, it just brings me back to that. Like, anytime I look at something, I, I could definitely um, create my own movie, my own story, my own whatever from art. Mm. So that's that was cool. my favorite thing to do in, in, uh, in English, picture prompts. Yes, picture prompts. Yep. That's cool. That's cool. So what are some of your goals? Like, do you want to – obviously, you're, you're already reaching – um, an international or a global audience, what other goals do you have? My main goal is to make comic books. I mean, technically I am making comic books, but like I mentioned earlier, these comics on the site are one, two or three pages. Because right. I'm solely doing all the work. So the goal is to make a full length comic book series or a even larger goal of comic book company and uh you know be I could definitely see this on print or in print rather um and I could definitely see you have a collection or a series for sure um I think you you should just go for it and I hope somebody does pick up you know your comic or a huge comic book label um or company rather but if they don't you could also self-publish. You could self-do so many things. I think it's so cool. Oh, yeah. Like, I would want um, a copy, you know, like, of a comic book. And um, I, don't, I'm not even, I don't even smoke. So it, I just love, I have great humor. And um, I, I, I make jokes all the time about smoking. But I, in reality, those who know me know that I don't smoke. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, so. Um, I write for people who don't smoke, too. I like to reach out to, to all audiences. But even going over your content, like, I enjoy it. And and it, it gives me, like, I guess because I picture certain people that I know or, mm. you know, just, like, people in my everyday life. Like, so I picture them. I see them in your within your comics. Like, that's that's dope. That's Thanks. really, really dope. I try to give a nostalgic vibe, realistic vibe with uh, all my stories. That's cool. That's cool. Except I don't know about um the aliens. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Some people no, don't believe in aliens. Some people do, something. but <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having fun now. I'm just having fun. So your blog, you're also the writer of your blog section on the website? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you're actually connecting with people through art, 
through your words, through your blog. I think you got something good going on here for sure. For Thank sure. You. I'm so excited for you. I really am. So what are some of the things like that you would consider milestones or your personal achievements with sketchbook comedy? Uh, a milestone right now is uh, connected to my other goal is that I want to start uploading comics, maybe uh, four pages to five pages long that people can purchase, but it would be a consistent story. So, right. you know, a usual comic book they would buy from a comic book store is probably like 13 pages uh, front and back, roughly about 13, 13 right. to 15, something about that. So I want to just give people a, a really long story. You don't know how long it's going to be, but you just keep paying five dollars and I'm just going to keep telling the story for as long right. as Right, like, like a little, like the same way like novelas or like TV shows rather, like yeah you're hooked i want to know what happens next mm -hmm. and i'm That's already cool. writing it and illustrating it it's a it's a it's almost the story that inspired this whole idea unknowingly years ago but i don't want to start telling the story until it's it's uh at least on the site i want to keep the intrigue going oh that's cool so okay if somebody reaches out to you and says hey I want you to do a sketchbook comedy of me interviewing. I'm just throwing it out there. Like me mm -hmm. interviewing someone who's a stoner. Like, would you take requests? You, you? Huh? You as in you or? Like me, uh, yeah. It's just me. Yeah. Like, hey, I want oh, you to, yeah. it could be me interviewing you right now. And I'll be like, I want to request that. Like, what are, like, would you do that service? Would you? Like do a one yeah, page I would. comic. Like even right now as we're talking about it, I'm thinking about how that would be funny. And um I think it'd be pretty funny just to see you sitting here waiting for me to show up and you see the backdrop and everything and I'm just <laughs> not even here. And you're just like, Where is he? And he's like out stoned. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> and then maybe Yeah, I'll like that's up. what I mean. It doesn't have to be like what happened during our interview. It could be like um, what could go wrong? Like the mind of a stoner, what could go wrong in my interview? I can't, I can't over smoke. I can't, I'm not saying like, <laughs> like, yeah. like, oh, like I have people like, oh, I left my phone. I left my keys and they keep going back to the apartment to get something like, oh man, I smoked too damn much. Like I've been in situations where I had to walk back and forth with people because they forgot their keys. They forgot the phone. They forgot this. They forgot that. And they're like, yeah, yeah. I forget so, that. There's, there's some not true not everybody. stereotypes about that, but the forget factor is very true. That's true. <laughs> and not so it's just, it's like okay, in preparing, it could be like in preparation for your interview. Um, okay, don't smoke. <laughs> you got to show up. <laughs> you know, it's it's weird. Most people smoke before interviews. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, trust it's me, like a, they do. It's like a thing. They're just like, you know what? I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna be sharp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i've dealt with so many different people very creators and very talented people and they're like can i smoke before i'm like do your thing and then as long as you're on time let's go <laughs> yeah i'm pretty punctual At least yeah. I think so. yeah you did very you, you were on time for sure how that was i did have one more question for you um we already threw your instagram up there and i'll do it again Check it out. So, like, all right. So, are you, I don't want to say hidden, but are you, because right now I finally see the face of it all. Because on Instagram, you're like a mystery. Mm -hmm. So, is that yeah. something that you are okay with? Like, are you like, um, I want you to know me through my art, through my comics versus putting a face to the brand? Exactly. It's it's more so that because it's like well, thank uh, you. It's more so that I uh, I want people to know the the work. It's not really about me, but um also at the time you know uh, weed wasn't legal in New Jersey. So, Correct. Now it know, is. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Now it is. So it's like even before when I started thinking about okay, well, what if I start getting approached in court interviews and things like that? I thought about maybe wearing like a wrestler's mask. <laughs> oh <laughs> so my that, gosh! 
go that because I love that. That story. could be part of the skit. Like if you create one <laughs> about you getting interviewed, that could be part yeah. of the skit. <laughs> so many different <laughs> ideas. Yeah. I almost wish I did it now, but it's all good though. That would have been hilarious. Face. I mean, we could you could always take a picture. <laughs> Whatever you have on right now, just put it on. Take a picture and be like, this is how I showed up to my interview. And then you could be like, nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad that you, that you saw it as a mystery because I mean, I didn't think it was a mystery, but I started to feel like it was because I was just like, I wonder if they know what I look like or if these people from out of the country are viewing it because they think I'm in their country, even though it's in English. Right, right. So, um, well, obviously your friends know who you are, right? The sketchbook comedy who's yeah. behind it. But people like me, I have no idea. I don't yeah. know. You really wouldn't know <laughs> well, unless I, I had you on Facebook. So that's why I was like, okay, do you want your name or do you want your, you know, when we throw up your Instagram, what do you want to display? But, um, yeah. The good thing we're using my fake name, name. Jovan, because my real name is Kevin. See? Just, just kidding. <laughs> you see? Should that be off the record? <laughs> oh my gosh well is there anything else you want our followers our viewers to know about you and what you do any gems you want to drop for someone who loves creating comics or even art if you love to create comics and you love to make art do it to express the things that you can't say Ooh, that got deep and real quick. And don't stop. <laughs> and don't stop. Don't stop. That's what people I always mean. told me when I was, even when I was little, they said, all right, man, that's cool. Let's do your thing. Don't stop. And I was just say, that's weird. I don't know why they said that. But then I, I meet other artists and eventually a lot of them stop. Like a lot of people who I went to school with, um, some of them don't do art really anymore. My parents right. are artists. They don't really draw anymore unless I'm not around for some reason. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, so a lot of that's I one thing. Expect it, or they'll, they'll admit it. I got to know her. It's like, yeah, so like, I was drunk the other day. Like, they, they're either doing crack or something, and it's like, okay, it's okay. You can admit it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's definitely great um, advice and gems because a lot of people don't have the support system from friends and family. So, especially when you're so creative and you're great at something, like, go for it. Even if you're doing it as a hobby or even as a therapy session or an expression, whatever it is, just always create, always draw, always write if you're a writer. And even if you don't pursue it or trying to pursue it professionally or, you know, as a full-time gig, mm -hmm. I think people should always use their talent and not waste it. For sure, for sure. Well, thank you for vibing with me. As you guys know, I'm Tori Indeed. You can follow me on all social media platforms. Tori underscore Indeed. Jovan Brooks, a.k.a. I'm not even going to say your real identity. You said it once. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and be sure to follow him as well. Sketch B Comedy. Super hilarious. Sketchbookcomedy.com. You can definitely find um, a playlist to vibe to, comics to read, a blog to stay in touch. And obviously you're um, active on Twitter as well. So people can connect with you on there besides Instagram, right? Yeah, follow me cool. on Twitter at sketchbookcom one And uh, that's really where I can really get in, in communication okay. with my fans because it's all words there, so. And besides comic, one last question. Um, are you into painting? Are you into any like canvases or oil painting, any acrylics or? I do it all. Um, really? Yeah. Because so I, I didn't want the, the, the collection wanna behind you was created by all. you. So I tried to limit how much art would be in camera view. <laughs> but, but, uh, Feel free to show weird, it. But, but um, like I have a, a painting over here, I have a painting over there, and then I have sculptures over there. So you do sculptures as well? Yeah, painting, sculpting. Um, I've done ceramics in the past, but that's only because the materials were available at, at school. So. Oh, cool. <laughs> and, and in college. But um, nice. aside from that, it's predominantly drawing and, and painting. 
Wow. Skull. Damn, we should have figured oh. some of your sculptures. <laughs> but yeah. I know you're trying to promote your sketchbook comedy and um, your comics and your humor, and I, I definitely get it. Um, but an artist is not only good at one thing. Like, you're writing, you're the illustrator of your own comic books and your comic series. So that's a lot. That's definitely a lot. And I respect that. I respect you doing too. This is a dope channel. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you.